Hey. <clears throat> Aloha. I'm in my new living situation. Uh, let me see if you can see. No, we can't see anything. It's too dark. And I was too tired to get out here any sooner. And it was raining too hard. But um, instead of hearing the roar, the jet engine roar of Fisher 8, or the balmy eruptions of the early days of this, months ago, um, cookie frogs. So, and I killed a cockroach earlier, so things are getting way back to normal. <laughs> I um, went to FEMA today. Uh, it was a really long day. Um, I've pushed myself way, way too hard. I got, I'm, I'm verging on collapse, actually. I made the bed tonight and broke into, like, a pouring out sweat, so instead of going out to dinner, which I was invited to, I stayed home and took a beautiful long shower and I'm enjoying the sound of the jungle. Um, I... Hopefully you saw the pictures I put up, um, the Fisher 8, which, um, I think Fisher 8 should become a new euphemism for, um, understatement, <laughs> you know, like when you go ballistic, you just had a Fisher 8 because it's so far beyond a Fisher. It's, I read tonight, I think it's at 180 feet, which is 18 stories. And, you know, two months ago that was, um flat basically and quiet and jungle so it's amazing to see this and then there's this little other part of my brain that says that was home that was jungle that was quiet that was another life no it was another life um there's no this is you know i've said it before but this there's a difference with a lava eruption because everything's gone and um, it's gone. So tomorrow they're opening up Highway 130, which is awesome because that's the road down to Uncle Roberts and um, to the little bit of coastline that we have left in Lower Puno. And I'm starting to accept in some ways that I'm not going home. Um, I still want to go home. I know it's not the same as it was, but it was mine, and I went through a lot there, and I fought to be there, and I was really on the verge of it becoming, you know, what I had imagined it could become, and, um, so, the days when I go to FEMA or have to deal with any of these agencies are the hard days. Because they're the days when they ask the hard questions like, what do you want to do? Um, what's your plan? Because they don't want to impose their plan on us. They want to give us an opportunity if we have already made a decision to support that. Um, but not many of us already have a plan. So I'm feeling... I don't know what I'm feeling. Like giving up, like just house sitting around the world for the rest of my life or digging in and remaining a part of this amazing community and being a part of whatever is being created because so much amazing you know so much amazing energy and people in aloha and um, it's the true meaning of aloha is if you're watching this um this is truly what it means it's not just hello and goodbye it's a way of being and um you're witnessing it. If you're watching this, you're witnessing it um, in the actions of the people who are just jumping right in and building villages, you know, in a matter of weeks and and giving people homes. And um, anyway, um, the house I'm in is really nice. Um, as you can see, I got to take a shower, a hot shower that hadn't already been used by 45 other people <laughs> like at the shelter and I discovered today okay so there were rippers and tweakers people 
actually getting on the bus in Kona and coming over here, homeless people, and moving into the shelter and ripping us off. Um, I didn't think I was one of the ones who'd gotten ripped off, but today when it started raining um, in the vortex of Pahoa, when it was crazy cyclone weird energy, um, I realized they had somebody had mechanically removed one of my windshield wipers. Um, thank goodness it wasn't the driver's side, it was the passenger side, but they, they took the whole arm off. <laughs> I have to find a replacement for the whole arm of my windshield wipers. So, um, so anyway, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm on a real bed, by the way. I'm not sleeping in my minivan. Um, I'm sprawled out just like I used to be in my wagon. Lily is upset. Um, one of the dogs chased after her the other day, and even though she kind of won the battle, she scratched the crap out of him, um, she's still scared and pissed off at me. So, she's roaming around here somewhere. I give her some catnip. Um, <laughs> hopefully that'll do. And before I go, I'm going to say hello, Doug, Robert, Chris. Brenda, hello. So happy to have you here. Thank you. And I'm going to, I know it's probably hard to believe how loud those cookie fogs are that I'm going to go to sleep to it, but I'm going to sleep so loud. And it's raining. I actually feel like I'm home. I feel like I'm back in my jungle. I'm in my gypsy wagon. I got my kitty. I got cookie frogs. I got rain. And there's no such thing as a crazy ass Fisher 8 and a lava river and lava boats and I just can pretend everything is still there. Aloha, I love you. Good night.